Okay, what's up everyone? My name is Daniel Choi. Um, I'll be your reading, uh, SACT reading guide for today. Okay, so let's kill the reading. Hold up, let me just get the pop up. Alright, we're going to look at this screen here. Now, as you can see in the reading section, you guys are given 35 minutes to answer, nail 40 questions. Okay, no need to read the instructions. Now, if you look at this, okay, so it says passage number one, um, you know, you will see that it's a prose fiction, which is a story. Um, it's good to read the intro, which says Night Water by Helen Elaine Lee. Okay, nothing really specific here. Now, okay, guys, you guys read this introduction and you got to think, okay, who's the main character? Who is this being focused on? What's the main theme, right? So let's see, it says here, uh, there had been no words for naming when she was born. She was Girl Owens on the stamped paper, okay? Meaning probably stamped paper probably being like the official work that certified her birth. And at home, she had just been sister. That was all. See how sad that is, right? That was all. Means, you know, nothing else but sister. She had a real name, which was Girl Owens, but at home, she was just called Sister. When asked to decide at six what she would be called, she had chosen Sunday, the time of voices lifted in praise. Okay, so what you can kind of expect is, um, you know, what she expects to be called. Maybe she likes to have her name changed. But, you know, first we're going to focus on who the she is, right? So that was one piece of the story, but uh, the other parts. Okay, so this section here is important too because we have one piece and then we have other parts had gone unspoken and some had been buried but were not at rest okay so some stories have been buried yet okay they weren't at rest meaning that there were still movement now uh, she had headed back she was headed back to claim them as she had taken her name okay so you can kind of expect okay maybe she's gonna focus on uh, you know how she got her name or why she likes to have her have her name change etc etc now, she could smell the burnt, sweet odor of the paper mill that sprawled across the edge of town. And as the train got closer, she remembered that uh, she remembered all that she saw. Okay, so the word remember, we are making a reference uh, to uh, the past. All right, guys? So she felt herself entering the greens and the reds and browns of her own paintings, pulling aside of her brush strokes as if they were curtains and stepping through. Okay, so here we have not really much of a big significant because there's no like specific detail on specific information. Um, now there were autumn trees on fire everywhere. She moved beyond the surface of color and texture into the hidden layers of the past uh, from which she had learned to speak her life with paint. Okay, so here we go. She learned something. Okay, she's uh, expressing herself, her artwork through uh, by painting. Right. So the train passed through. Okay. Oops. Let's ignore that. It says, are you enjoying? Yes, we are. Not right now. Okay, guys. So the train passed through the part of the town where she had grew up. Okay. So we have. Why would this paragraph be of significance? We have a movement. Right. A shift now uh, which is the train she grew up right she watched as they left behind the neat compact frame houses and hollow storage buildings she was going back to piece together her family story of departure and return she saw it all from inside out as native and exile women and child from all of that she remembered she remembered and all that she was. She was girl Owens and sister. Okay. So this section here would be important, guys, because as you would know, we have the reference, right? The reference from at the very beginning. Okay. So she was girl Owens and sister. Uh, she was Sunday. Okay. What she was also known as, and she was headed home. Okay. So this section would be important, important too, because we have movement and her purpose, guys. Right. So we have here in this paragraph, waiting for Sunday's arrival, um, we have Delta Owen stepped out onto the front porch. She hoped she would be able to find the right way to approach Sunday with whom she had only been in touch by mail for 
uh, by mail for five years. Okay, so you got to look at this section here and think what word would be considered to be important here. Okay, uh, it would be okay. We have people, of course. Okay, and the arrival because remember she was headed home, and um, you know there at the front port, front porch, she hoped she would be able to find the right way to approach Sunday. Okay, so. You know, finding the right way to approach Sunday, maybe there's something going on, you got to think, right? So be an active reader. Um, she had tried to demonstrate a persistent bond with the help of words put together by experts, choosing for each birthday and holiday an oversized greeting card depending on its ornate script and polished rhyme to express what she had never been able to say. Uh, each one she had signed, always Delta, before addressing the envelope carefully and mailing it off to Chicago. Okay, so we have it. Mailed off to Chicago. We got a location. Uh, she had heard back irregularly uh, receiving wood block prints. Okay, so we got irregular replies. We get these like, you know, receiving wood block prints or splashes of paint um, on the wefts of uh, heavy paper with ragged edges or on see through skins. Right? See through means like transparent, right? Now each one. She had turned around and round, looking for the right side up with the help of the signature. Okay, why would what what would what would this signify? It's like dirty, right? So you got to look at the signature to to kind of figure out which way you know is the up and down, right? So obviously the ending would have the signature, guys. So each one she had saved, though she had uh, had not known what specifically to make of any of them. She knew her appearance said something about the habit of love okay so something about some habit of love now they kept sorry they had kept up contact despite the differences that had accumulated over the years and finally erupted in the accusations and insults after nana's death okay so we have an incident guys you know we have an incident of nana's deaths and you know some kind of erupted accusations arguments now in the wide pros fu post funeral quiet after the visitors had gone home they had both uttered uh, things huge and unerasable. Okay, guys. So here, why I kind of read softly and slowly is we see why she has returned, right? So this paragraph would be important. It shows us why she had come back. And, you know, through their meat is what's going on, right? So, um, you know, she had always known how Sunday felt about home. I'm in a little box. She had often complained while growing up trying to express de uh, express to Delta how different she felt. Okay, so how different she felt, uh, how she was of it, but would never be able to stay. Okay, and Delta, who had fought anyone who criticized her sister, had listened and comforted her, but hadn't really understood Sunday was one of was the one she was different from. So we have, you know, obvious two sisters talking about blah, 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 you know, and like, you know, their differences, etc. right? So this place pulls you down and holds you, Sunday had said, okay? So you gotta think what that means. This place pulls you and holds you, uh, pulls you down and holds you. Well, what can that mean? You gotta think, you don't just read that sentence and think, oh, okay, this, per this place is like a, you know, like a sand dune, it's gonna suck you down. You know, you gotta, you gotta come up, you gotta come up with like references. You see, Sunday was the was the one she was different from. Okay, now this place pulls you down and holds you. Sunday had said, Delta, don't you see? It pulls you down and holds you, silent and safe. So it's a kind of like positive meaning, right? It makes you feel comfortable or something, right? So what Delta had said that night was a condem condemnation of a place, but Delta absorbed it all. She was of Wake County and caught in the understanding of herself, intoxicated with saying what had it long been felt. They both spoke freely and Barry fell. So Barry is falling is, you know, their, their difference between the sistership, right? Um, so most of the things Sunday said had not surprised Delta, but one indictment had left her uh, open mouth. You don't even see my painting. Sunday had accused. Sorry about the typo, guys. You know, Sunday had accused. Uh, you don't even see me at all. Okay, so maybe, you know, they're back at their difference. You don't understand me. You don't see who I am. You don't understand me, right? So Delta had laughed uh, calaciously at the accusation for the 
for she knew that she couldn't have said it for most of her life. She had seen little else. She had been answering by calling her a misfit who she thought she was better than the folks that she had left behind. You know, so this statement here would be important because you know how it focuses on she had answered by calling her a misfit who thought that she was better than the folks. So see this comparison. Comparisons are important to show uh, one is better than the other or, you know, it could be the other way around, vice versa. Um, so it's like thing, you know, you, you left because you thought that we were not better, as, uh, not as good as you, right? And it was Delta's recognition of her own rancor and as much of the substance of what they had said had staggered, regraced, uh, sorry, disgraced her. She hadn't even realized the things for which she couldn't forgive Sunday. Hadn't known for her uh, own smallness until she had found herself, found herself measuring her sister aloud. Okay, so finally, the rush of words had ended and they had silently strained up and gone upstairs without repairing their uh, trespasses. Uh, Sunday had gathered and packed her things in a wild, tearful stupor of regret and relief while Delta cried herself to sleep with a bitter remorse. Okay, so... You know, these kind of emotions, you know, like crying herself to sleep. It shows a person uh, what type of person they are. Uh, Delta, Delta pushed that night from her mind, hoping that this visit might help them leave behind uh, their troubled history. Okay, It's a kind of like kind of jump, jump, jump ending. But like, yeah, it's not, you know, you don't really need it to answer the questions, guys. Now, you know. ACT reading passages are quite easier, they're shorter, the vocab's not that hard, the meaning's not hidden, and the questions are much, 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 much easier, so you won't have too much difficulty. Let's see, it says here, which of the following statements offers the best short summary? Okay, so we have another summary, right? So if you look at A, it says a painter, okay, maybe. Uh, Sunday returns to her hometown to attend Nana's funeral and to visit her sister Delta, whom she hasn't seen for some time. Has a possibility. Right? Has a possibility. She, I mean, all the things there are there. Now, two sisters, not Zhu, two sisters try unsuccessfully to resolve their differences when one of them returns hometown for a visit. I mean, they don't meet up to kind of solve their troubles. That's not the purpose, right? Um, so it wouldn't be B. Now, you look at C, two sisters contemplate their relationship, right? So they contemplate on their relationship to each other and their hometown just prior to a reunion between them there's no uh much of a you wouldn't really say a reunion actually you would really say i mean that would make more sense right so they kind of uh what what do they do they think about their relationship with each other you know they kind of think about what they've done you know sending each other letters what they get back um prior to a uh reunion that reunion would be that funeral right so you weigh a and c Right. So they think about their relationship with each other, you know, they're sisters, but then, you know, are they good or bad? Right. So, um, I mean, a kind of I would uh, not really weigh the answer on a because it's not focused on a painter. You know, we're not really we we are not really quite sure if she's a painter. I mean, she does paint. Yes. But does she do it professionally? And um she was she's not re actually returning home home she's going there to go to a funeral right and you know not there to visit her sister that's not the uh what is a summary right it's their conflict with one another now d two sisters argue over the childhood differences after one of them considers moving to chicago back to wake county that just doesn't include in the answers so the answer would be c um Okay, question two, guys, it says here, main conflict, right? So the main conflict in the passage could be best described as, so what conflict do they have one on one another? So if you look at F, it says, uh, what does it say? It says, Delta struggle over her inequality to, uh, inability, sorry, inability to express herself adequately in her paintings. It's not really talking about expressing herself through her artwork. Um, G, it says here, um, Sunday's internal conflict over whether she should stay away from or go back to her hometown. She's not really 
thinking, weighing, should I go back or stay, right? Now, H, the tension between the two sisters, Delta and Sunday, have been differing in the views of the world. That would make more sense than the others, right? Uh, to make a reference, guys, you know, you see that part here? This place pulls you down and holds you, Sunday had said. Delta, don't you see it? It pulls you down and holds you silent and safe, right? They're kind of differences in the same place that they are in. Right. And then, yeah, you look at J, the hostility between two sisters, Delta and Sunday, each of whom wants control over the other. They're not really fighting about who wants to be boss. Right. So the H would be the most appropriate answer to this. OK, guys, um, due to the time and, you know, you know, all these like sample short classes are kind of boring. Um, whoops. Yes. Yeah, I'm still up to question number two, and then, yeah, obviously in class we'll be covering into more depth and more detail throughout with the material. Yeah. All right. Thank